Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to convert an XML file to JSON format using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This connector is exactly as simple as it sounds. All you need is a valid XML file input to generate a valid JSON output. After using this connector, you can copy the JSON object directly from the output of the operation, or you can create a new file with it using dynamic content outputs. That's totally up to you. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to convert a sample file for you and review the operation outputs and nothing more. Starting from the home page, I'm quickly creating an instant cloud flow to get the demo started. This is ideal for demonstration purposes, but it's also the perfect option to use if you want to end up with a nice handy XML to JSON conversion button. After naming my project, I'm clicking create and heading to the flow diagram page. The first thing I'm going to do is pull a get file content operation to grab my XML file. When I involve the conversion connector in the following step, it'll be looking specifically for a valid XML file input, so I need to make sure I find the correct file and allow the file path to populate. Once the file path populates, I'm clicking New Step and typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, I'm selecting the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector with the light green logo. If you haven't used this connector before, you'll have to log into it just like any other premium Power Automate connector. You can use it for free by registering a free account on our website, and once you do that, you'll end up with a free tier API key which you can copy straight into the authentication step. After that, it'll save for your next use like mine did, and you won't have to worry about doing that ever again. With authentication complete, I'm now searching for XML to JSON in the actions list and selecting the appropriate action. To configure the XML to JSON conversion action, I just need to include my file content and file name from the previous step. To do that, I'm first selecting the file content from the dynamic content window, and then I'm copying and pasting the file name into the second parameter. With the connector fully configured, I can now test the flow. I'm quickly saving and testing, and after that, I'm confirming my connections before clicking Run Flow and awaiting my results. After a few seconds, I'm checking the output of my XML to JSON conversion step. As you can see, the XML file has been fully rewritten in JSON format. If I want to, I can now send this JSON object somewhere downstream in my flow and access that information as dynamic content. I can also create a JSON file with the encoding output by using either the SharePoint or OneDrive create file actions. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more Cloudmersive connector demos in the near future.